indictment thrown out. Georgia's Supreme Court upholding a lower court's decision to dismiss the murder indictment against a man accused of killing an elderly couple because the grand jury wasn't chosen properly. Jay Towns allegedly murdering Bud and June Runyon back in 2015 after they answered his Craigslist ad for a classic car. Prosecutors say he lured them from their home in Marietta to Telfair County. The district attorney now planning to seek a new indictment in the case. On the mend, former University of Georgia football coach Mark Rick recovering after suffering a heart attack. The 59-year-old, now an analyst for the ACC Network, taking to Twitter saying he's doing fine and he's planning to get back to work this week. Rick spending 15 years coaching at UGA before heading to the University of Miami. He retired from coaching last year. I'm Hope Ford. Cobb County police say license plate readers helped to cut car break-ins in half. The cameras point at public streets in several high crime areas, and when a crime happens involving a car, the license plate is entered into a database. The next time the car passes in front of a flock camera, the camera recognizes the license plate and sends an alert to police. Well, is the data being abused? Well, flock safety says they delete data every 30 days and don't do facial recognition technology. Police have to enter a case number in order to view the video on their end. Cobb County Police also plan to use the license plate readers in hotspots for the MLB All-Star Game in 2021.